Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, today's video, we're going to talk specifically about the step up recruitment. If you guys are not aware, that's coming on 1st of January. Uh, I'm going to explain how that works because a lot of you guys might actually make this mistake and I'm actually very, very worried because uh, one thing that I notice a lot of people are not aware is how this thing works. Alright, they've already pretty much released this as you can see on the official uh, Twitter page or x.com. Alright, so cringe calling it x.com. Anyways, as you can see in this step up new year recruitment poster, they've posted two particular characters that a lot of people want and that's going to be Naga and Blanc. So that means this is going to uh, include both of them most likely. Very, 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 very high chance. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about this and also why you want to be very, very careful with this particular banner. Now right here you can see this particular banner, the Step Up Recruit is going to last from January 1st till January 11th. So you have 10 days, alright? So it starts at January uh, 1st and then until 11th it ends. So make sure you guys are paying very close attention. It's not like 2 weeks, it's like a little bit less than 2 weeks. Some of you guys might have like barely enough to basically get all the way. You need 6,600 gems all right no tickets nothing else just gems so if you have like 5200 gems now and you're thinking okay i want to go all in i want to gamble it you might want to be very careful or maybe just pull it on the last day just to be safe okay so uh you can use free or paid gems all right it doesn't really matter and keep in mind four percent chance of acquiring ssr nikkei's in step out recruit Alright, so there's still chance to get some of these uh, characters, just like any other uh, character. They have 4% chance, but you cannot get Pilgrim characters, alright, and limited time Nikkei's. Now, you won't be getting any gold mileage ticket from this particular banner, alright, something that you have to keep in mind. And how does this step up recruit works? You can see there's four different phase. You gotta recruit once for 100 gems. Phase 2, recruit 10 times for 1,500 gems. Phase 3, recruit 10 times for 2,000 gems. And the last phase, phase 4, recruit 10 times for 3,000 gems. So in total, 6,600 gems in total, right? Now, once you finish all phase, you will get a New Year SSR selection box. And you get one SSR Nikkei of your choice, not including Pilgrim, not including limited characters. Let's talk a little bit about this. Just want to be clear, just want to be aware, I'm going to list down who is not included so you know for sure which character is which character is what in case you guys are new so first up pilgrim characters all of these characters are not included snow white isabel rapunzel scarlet heron noah modernia nihilister dorothy red hood snow white innocent days and the new scarlet this will not be there limited characters include winter shopper rupee okay she's not going to be there uh swimsuit mary is not going to be there mika Snowbody is not going to be there. Ahem Aquamarine, she's limited as well, so she's not going to be there. I believe Guilty, Sin, and Quincy should not be there as well because these are like kind of a liberation unit characters. Miracle Fairy Anne will not be there. Makima shouldn't be there because she's limited for the uh, Chainsaw Man collaboration alongside with Power as well. A2, 2B Power, obviously this won't be there. And of course Annie Sparking Summer, she won't be there in the selector. And yeah, Swimsuit Neon shouldn't be there as well, she's limited. So yeah, I think that pretty much sums up uh, those characters that I'm sure will not be in the selector. So let's talk about the best choice and let's talk about what is the plan going into this. 6,600 diamonds or gems is a lot, okay? So you gotta think carefully. Do you want to pull for this banner, the Step Up Recruit, or do you want to get the new character. In this case, there's two new Pilgrim characters, right? Scarlet Black Shadow, alright? So she is going to be probably a very, very strong rocket launcher character. Now, I will definitely test her out on day one. So make sure you guys stay tuned if you want to see how strong she is, you want to see how she performs. Definitely, I'll have a video out for, for her for sure. And one more character is going to be Modernia, which we all know she's literally the top Pilgrim characters. Uh, definitely one of the top, alright? She's like the top three. Uh, not only Pilgrim, she's a top 3 damage dealer Nikkei in the game. But Red Hood is like right now number 1, number 2, maybe tied between Modernia and the OG Scarlet, right? I do think that Modernia is going to be a very very good pull for a lot of new players. And if you want to reroll, she's pretty safe. But the reason why I say that is because story or in campaign is where you're going to use her a lot. And she's going to be very very strong and extremely solid 
right there. So something to keep in mind of. Uh, she's going to be a, a very prominent character moving forward. And I don't think you're going to disappoint yourself by pulling on her. You can pass the story still without her. There's some, uh, I know a few people that, you know, they don't have Mononia until today. <laughs> From day one until now, uh, they are able to get through the story. But it's just, she, she makes it a lot easier. So I don't think she's a bad choice at all if you are new. Definitely. Uh, even if you're a veteran player, looking into it, uh, you are looking to tackle maybe solo raids or union raids. Uh, she can be used there a lot. Now let's talk about the step up banner then. What should be your priority for every single player in terms of like whether you're a new player, whether you're an old player, um, since you know pilgrims won't be included there. I think number one, uh, I think we can all collectively agree the best character, the best choice is none other than Lita. Okay, so she is going to be there for sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no reason for her to not be included in the banner. So she should be the top, top choice, the best choice for every single player. All right, so she is a burst one. You are pretty much going to use her everywhere. There's no, there's literally no reason to not use Lita at all. All right, you're going to use her in solo raids. You're going to use her in story. You're going to use her in, in union raids. The only place where you might not use her as much is probably PvP. All right, so you don't really need uh, to repair barrier or repair cover in pvp can still be used in pvp but she's not like top tier in pvp like in every other area every other content she is the strongest character in the game she's one of the few characters in the game until today that has the ability to repair cover all right so uh you know affects two ally units with the lowest cover hp this is what makes her really strong and also increase attack and also the ability to reduce CDR, all right, cooldown reduction of uh, burst skill. So that means you are able to burst more often. So uh, you can see right here, uh, once, twice, and third times are uh, 2.3, 2.7, and 3.17 seconds. This is always going to be very, very good. Uh, yeah, it's going to affect uh, a lot of your team comm moving forward. She's just a very solid uh, character overall. And I can't believe she hasn't been power crept yet from day one until now. I thought Red Hood was going to power creep her, uh, but then Red Hood's uh, burst one can only be activated once. So for a lot of players, if you're new, she is going to be the best choice. Now, who is the second best choice after Lita? Now, I would say it's going to be tied between Blanc and Noir. So why Blanc and Noir, right? So Blanc and Noir, uh, is a pair so you gotta use them as a pair if you guys are not aware uh they are these girls right here so blong is a burst 2 character all right so it's the bunny girls so this is blong all right she is a burst 2 she is going to be one of the best healer in the game however there's a very big problem with her she needs noir you need noir in the same team if you only have blong by herself she cannot function her cooldown is going to be 60 seconds so she's going to delay your entire team uh, you have to wait the entire full 60 seconds to be able to function so noir is pretty much needed alongside with blong now noir is going to be the better one to pick between these two all right if you can only choose one pick noir first because noir doesn't need Blanc to function as much. She is a buffer, one of the best buffer in the game, as you can see. She has one skill that pretty much activates permanently. This one activates when above 70% HP, increase attack by 14% constantly. So this is pretty much activating uh, during the entire battle. It doesn't only activate during burst, it activates the entire time. Very, very insane uh, skill to have overall, right? And also she increased max ammo capacity. And last but not least, she increased, uh, you know, hit rate for all allies, which is something that's extremely exclusive. As you can see, she does not need um, Blong to function. But Blong, as you can see right here, uh, you can see activates when full burst ends with an ally from the same squad. Still on the battlefield, affects self. They are from the 777 squad, right? Which is this particular squad. Or else the, the burst skill is going to be at 60 seconds, as you can see. If not, this will reduce by 40 seconds. So that means it's going to be 60 minus 40, 20 seconds. Uh, it's going to make her way more usable. So uh, Noir and Blanc, very, very good pair. Now, if you have Blanc, you can consider picking Noir from the Step Up Recruit. If you have Noir, you can consider picking Blanc from the Step Up Recruit. The third choice is going to be Tia and Naga. Now, very, very close. The reason why I put them as third place is because Blanc and Noir is going to be way more flexible and still better to use or easier to use compared to Tia and Naga. Now, Tia and Naga works in a similar concept. They need each other. However, Tia and Naga has a little bit of restriction in terms of how you need to use them. So this, we're talking about the school girl right here. So this is Tia, all right? So she is going to be a burst one character. And this is Naga. So Naga is going to be this particular character right here. Uh, she is going to need Tia to get their full effect going on. 
Now, Tia and Naga, who is the better one between these two? I would say Naga, this girl right here. She is going to be slightly a better character overall that doesn't need Tia as much. They sort of need each other, but if you can only pick one, I would go with Naga. But still, you know, if you already have one, the whole idea here is this is a selector. If you have one already, you are supposed to pick the other one to basically complete the pair. Now, why I don't recommend Tia Naga as much compared to Blanc and Noir? Very, very simple reason. Tia has an issue. She not only needs Naga in her kit, she also needs another Burst 1 character. Because when you activate her Burst skill, she's gonna re-enter Burst 1 again. So when you use Tia and Naga, so you need to use two Burst 1 characters, okay? So it might not be that big of an issue, but for new players, you are going to be lacking in the damage sometimes. If you are new, you might not have a strong Burst 3 character that have overload gears yet. A lot of team comp, ideally relies on 1 burst 1, 1 burst 2, and 3 burst 3 characters. So that's going to be the standard, right? But Tia and Naga requires you to use 2 burst 1 characters, 1 burst 2, and 2 burst 3. Now this is not that big of an issue once you have an established uh, roster, right? Uh, you have like plenty of characters, very very strong burst 3 characters, can, can hyper carry, and they also have like overload gears and stuff. But for newer players, this is going to be harder to, to try to balance things out. And you know, they are a little bit... Uh, and also, uh, Tia is a little bit more finicky to use because of her taunt, right? She's always taunting. If you're not careful with her, sometimes she just dies. She dies in battle because she's always taunting all the time. If you're new, uh, I don't recommend Tia and Naga as much compared to Blanc and Nord. I think Blanc and Nord still is going to be the more universal one. So these are my top 3 priorities. So what about the fourth one? Who is going to be a good choice for a lot of players, right? Now I'm going to say it's going to be a tie between either Alice or Maxwell. So this is going to be a very, very tough choice. Now, they are both really, really strong. Personally, I prefer Maxwell more because she is able to complement your Red Hood. If you have Red Hood, Maxwell helps you a ton. If you don't have her yet, uh, she's one of the best buffer to pair with Red Hood. Uh, every single time I use Red Hood, uh, she's able to complement the damage because of this particular skill, right? So affects two allies with the highest attack, and this is going to improve uh, charge speed and also attack percent. You can see that's an insane boost. Considering that Red Hood is the best character in the game right now in terms of damage dealer, Maxwell is the best support for Red Hood, arguably, right? So this is going to basically help boost your damage even more, right? So if you don't have Red Hood, then Alice is going to be a decent option for a damage dealer. Now, the reason why I prefer Maxwell more than Alice is because Alice can be harder to use as well for new players, right? Depending. Uh, you might have to play and click very fast. Some concept in the past that requires Alice to be macro and stuff. And it can be a little bit hard because I know that not everybody plays on the PC. If you play on the phone, Alice can be also a little bit tricky to use. Like, you gotta tap your fingers on the phone. So... Uh, that's, there's that. But for damage dealer-wise, she is going to be very strong. She does a lot of damage. She requires a lot of investment, personally. She needs overload gears to function like very, very well compared to Maxwell, where she can sort of function as a sub DPS to support Red Hood, rather. So it really depends. If you have uh, Red Hood, I will go for Maxwell. But if you don't have, then Alice is going to be uh, a decent damage dealer to try to obtain. Uh, she should be able to carry you in a lot of you know, contents that requires multiple teams, for example, solo raids and union raids. So personally, this is where I'm going to put them. Uh, I'm going to put Maxwell here, and I'm going to put Alice at the fifth place. So these are my top five. All right, this is going to be my personal top five in terms of the best character for you to obtain from the step up banner. Now again, feel free to disagree. Uh, if you guys think there's any other better choice for new players, let me know in the comment section below. But ideally, uh, a lot of characters are really, really strong. I want to give some honorable mention as well. Let's glance through the list. Pepper is a very solid burst one healer. Uh, I would say she's all right, but most of the time, if you have Lita, you ideally want to use Lita. And if you need healer, you will be using Blanc and Nord. So um, that's going to be a thing, right? So I think she is uh, very deserving of mention. Jackal is a very good PvP character. So if you play PvP a lot, uh, which I think you should because it does give quite a number of gems. Uh, consider getting Jackal. Volume is pretty decent. Most of the time I prefer Lita, but again, if you want to tackle solo raids or union raids where you need multiple teams, that's when volume comes in handy. So she is worth deserving of the mention right here. Now for Burst 2, I'm going to say Marciana is going to be the best healer possible in the game. Uh, I do think that she might be worth it. 
uh, a lot of people they are trying to tackle multiple contents uh, or the rates, union rates and solo, solo rates. If you struggle with survivability, not damage, but rather you die very, very early, Marsana might be able to help you right there. So consider her as an option for sure. Novel is a very good burst too as well. Boss Killer, Dola, worth mentioning as well. Um, although once you have Blanc, Noir, Tia, Naga, you probably won't use them as much. But in boss situation, these two are definitely worth mentioning. Now for burst 3, I'm going to say... Um, Drake is a still a decent buffer. She did get replaced uh, by Blanc and Noir, but if you do want to use them in a pair, she is going to be an okay unit to try to uh, consider. All right, she's uh, one tier below Blanc and Noir, but uh, her buff is still pretty pretty good overall. But regardless, this is going to be my personal top five for new players. Uh, make sure you guys are aware that this is going to be something that you want to like plan carefully. All right. So especially when it comes to right now, there's two pilgrim characters as well. So if you have uh, you know gold mileage tickets, consider using them on the Scarlet or on Modernia, so you are able to uh, you know spend your gems on the step up banner. It's going to make your life a lot easier uh, rather than you having to figure out which one to pull. If you have gold mileage tickets. You can definitely do both, which is why always save your gold mileage tickets for situations like this, alright? So yeah, with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, give this video a like, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.